how do you feel when you meet somebody at a social party and you find out that they don't recycling, they don't, they don't believe in recycling? What, what do you, what do you like string up? Do you, do you like tie them down and beat them up or what, what do you do? <laughs> now I always ask people like, well, why? Yeah. Why, you know, why? Say, you know? Most of it's, most and of it's usually, probably just education around it probably, isn't it? Or yeah, they, it? well, they just say, oh, it doesn't happen. That's not really happening. Recycling is not really happening. Yeah. So well, g- give me that. Yeah. Talk about that for a minute. Cause I've heard people like, oh, they're like, oh, it's all just bullshit. Or what? Like I hear people say stuff like that. Right? How do you, how do you respond to that? <laughs> you know, it really depends on where you live. So there's, there's pockets in Colorado where it's really not happening and they're a hundred percent right. But in the front range, we have a bunch of MRFs. There's a couple in Denver. There's one in Colorado Springs. There's one in Boulder. There's one up in Larimer County um, off the Taft Hill Road. They're really recycling. They're really doing it, right? They're really taking cardboard, putting it in a baler and making a cardboard bale, creating a 40,000 pound load, you know, probably in a couple of days and shipping it off and it's going to New Mexico and it's being turned right back into cardboard. Okay. That is absolutely 100% happening all day long. And so when people say, oh, the cardboard isn't really happening. Ah, glass isn't really happening. I'm like, oh my gosh, glass in Colorado. It is so happening. We've got Coors. We've got Anheuser-Busch. You know, we've got, mm-hmm. we've got ball aerospace <laughs> producing right. bazillions of cans. So typically I think the, I think the new thing is like every 13 days, a can's a can again. So if you recycle your can, it's turned into a can again. I, it, I didn't know. I didn't know it happens that fast. Let me ask you this: What happens to the cardboard boxes from Amazon orders in towns that don't recycle, and the cardboard just goes in the regular trash can? What happens to that? That goes to landfill. It and goes then, to the landfill. It, then it becomes compost. You know, it's going to get turned into dirt fastest, right? That's way better than a plastic bottle. Mm. Plastic bottle is going to sit in a landfill for millions of years. So if you're concerned about recycling something, recycle those freaking plastic bottles. Okay, I'm glad you tubs, jugs, and jars. I'm glad you brought that up. Wow. If glass lasts for that long, why the hell is it even legal to like make shit in glass? I mean, what (laughs) right? The better question is why 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 can you make so much in plastics and different grades of plastic, right? Mm. So we're only recycling ones through sevens. There's other grades, there's grades that aren't being recycled, like all the film. You know, that go like the special, like if you buy a toothbrush, mm-hmm. and that toothbrush is stuck in that film, right? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. not typically, it's not a bottle, tub, jug, or jar. The facility can't recognize that. So that's not trash. Like, why can they pack it? I really wish that Americans could come together on make, when the, the producer responsibility of like packaging responsibility, the sustainability of packaging. Like, let's just all agree that like, hey, if we're going to make a product and the product's awesome, Let's put it in a package that's recyclable, 100%. And if it's not, right, in an area, is it compostable? So if they're going to throw it away, is it at least not going to hurt the environment a million years from now? It what you just said, that, that, sum, that summary that you just said right there was perfect. And my question is, why aren't we doing that? So it's either, it's either A, it's recyclable. I don't, what, what, I don't know if that's a word, recyclable. Yeah, recyclable. <laughs> yeah. It's either that. Or it, like you said, it composts pretty easily. Like it, it, it should be automatically one of those two. Why wouldn't it be mandated that it's one of those two? That's a, that's a no brainer. That's a no brainer. I a hundred percent agree. (laughs) Is that because, I don't don't know. Is that because Procter and, is that because Procter and Gamble and everybody else that makes shit in plastic is is too powerful and too big and, and lobbyists can't get this stuff passed. Is that part of it? Oh yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, which is why I love EcoCycle because they're lobbying in Denver and, and, you know, in Washington all the time for this stuff. They're like, hey, let's not use plastic bags anymore. You know, let's make people bring their bags in and like reduce that waste. Mm-hmm. You know, plastic, if people didn't uh, what, offer the bags, you would bring something in, right? You would. Yeah, you would. But do you, do you know what your plastic was created? What was it? Was, it, was that like 1930 or when, when was that? I don't know, 40s, 30s, 40s, 20s. I think it was in the 40s. It didn't really become popular until the 50s and 60s with like, yeah, it's on the internet. Okay. Okay. It's not my my specialty, specialty. uh, It's it's something like that. I remember it's something around there, right? Yeah, it's something around there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, can, I, I just wonder if the creators of plastic and the early manufacturers of plastic, I wonder if they had any idea what that was going to do to to the planet. I don't think so, right? I don't. I don't believe there was some like evil person creating plastic back then thinking it was going to be bad. Right. I think they were like, Oh, look at this. Look at this great stuff that we can use to put crap in. 
right? And now here we right. are, now here we are like 70, 80 years later, whatever it's been. And they're like, oh, okay, yes, yeah, not good. <laughs> right. And now the problem is the microplastics, right? So have you heard of microplastics that we're I eating? Have, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Nope. What is that? Oh, all right. This is not, yeah. Things that keep you up at night. Um, so plastics, when they're composted, they sh you should never compost plastic, right? If you break it down, break it down, you get it so small. It's a microplastic. You can't even see it. Okay. But amoeba can ingest it fish eat it, mm. birds eat it, right? Mm. So we're literally putting that crap into our soil, growing other things out of it. So it's in the plants, it's in what we're eating now. They've done studies and there's all this, you can you can Google this and follow microplastics and the, the issues that it's having in the environment. We're gonna see cancers we've never even heard of, thought wow. of wow. Now, because of this. You can't get away from it. Like I can't wow. get away from it. I'm very cognizant of it. And there's, there's not a whole lot I can do except for educate, tell people, holy crap, do not put anything plastic in your compost bin. Just don't do it. I see. Okay. That is another great tip. I'm sure most of the listeners do not know that it is interesting how, and I think about this often, everything is just in on the planet. It is just recycling and going, it's not going into outer space. It's recycling right here. Every single thing we're doing is just going around yep. in a circle. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, kind of like what goes around comes around, what you put out, you get back. Yes. You know what I mean? So just be careful what you're doing. Be careful with your products. I mean, I always tell people like, what's one piece of advice? And I'm like, man, vote with your dollar. Don't buy shit. Don't like literally buy things that you love and packaging that's sustainable, right? That you're going to use over and over and over again. Support companies that are green. People have to report now. Companies have to report what their carbon footprint is, what they're doing. I mean, at Green Girl, we, we actually create recycling reports for people that are real. I, put, I poured thousands of dollars into our database so that when we pick up recycling for people, we actually track how much somebody recycled on that route, what they recycled, how much weight was that? So that I can give them at the end of the year or monthly, even if they need it. I mean, Crocs loves to see what they do every month. I love that. That's what great. They, yeah. What their diversion rate was like, how mm. much did they keep out of mm. the landfill? What's that environmental mm. impact? Mm. So support people like that. Mm.